Hi, we're back and I want to show you one more presentation about looking at the world really close up. So we looked at Georgia O'Keeffe's um, enlargement of small items and we also looked at everyday items and how they look different close up but let's look at the world as if we're looking through an electron microscope so i'm going to share my screen and show you this presentation um an electron microscope is an amazing thing, and they have electron microscopes at RISD, and it helps um, artists look at the micro world to think about the way that nature um, builds things, and it will help artists build things. And so an electron microscope is a microscope that uses a beam of electrons as the source of illumination, and it can be up to 100,000 times shorter than visible light, and so it can reveal the structure of very, very, very tiny objects and items. And so look at these deep sea worms viewed from an electron microscope. So in the depths of the ocean, there are worms too tiny for us to see. But when you look at them, they look like stuffed animal creatures from um, the Muppets in a way. And how many artists and scientists and um people in the medical field use the electron microscope to try to understand the world and um, help make our world better. And so here is a close up view of um, a sea worm. Um, it doesn't even look real um, and very creepy. You can almost see how science fiction would use these um, types of images. Um, this is pollen and the cells of pollen. And I want you to notice how different it is when an artist would color the, a slide with um, different hues of blue and yellow and green and red versus just keeping it black and white. And so when you're doing your painting, you can choose any colors you want in your painting because um, it's up to you. And it does make images stand out better when they're in color. Um, this is a true COVID-19 um, virus. This is the throat of a rat versus the throat of a human. Um, so this is, these are the cells of our throat. Um, scientists looked at the throat of a rat to understand why can a rat inhale and eat bacteria and all of these germs and not get sick when humans, if we were to eat or ingest the same things, we would get sick. It's because look at how much more is in the throat of a rat that would catch any um, foreign substance that you wouldn't want in the body versus the human. And so we can learn a lot about ourselves and others by looking really closely at things. This is the eye of a fruit fly. These are the cells of a solar panel, the little pieces that catch light. Um, ants and other insects are surprisingly hairy um, when you look at them really close up. And um, this is a parasite on the leg of a gecko. Algae has beautiful symmetrical and cylindrical forms. Um, iron um, is very geometric in its shape. Red and white blood cells look distinctly different under um, an electron microscope. This is a common thing, glue on a post-it. And so when you really look, um, I never would guess it looks like a plant, a surface of a planet or something like that. Um, a kidney stone, again, very geometric, and you can see how painful it would be if you passed a kidney stone. And so by looking at the electron microscope and things really close up, it makes us view it in a very different way. So in your life, I want you to look around at things. I want you to look, research the internet. I want you to look closely at objects and see if you can create an abstract work by zooming in and looking at something really close up. Oops.